my Zentangle friends. This is Barbara Langston, CZT, Certified Zentangle Teacher. Welcome to day 20 of the Inktober Tangles for 2023. If you're new to this channel and this playlist, please look at the description below this video for links to introductory videos about Inktober and how I'm putting my tiles together. So I would suggest that you watch uh, two introductory videos and day one so that you know how my tiles will go together. Uh, this is my disc bound sketchbook that I made and there is a link in the description for how I did that if you're interested. Um, again, day 20 is Kalua by Nina Dreher Godertz. I'm sure I butchered that, but I tried. <laughs> Nina, CZT. Um, if you happen to post your tiles to social media, please use at BBL underscore tangles so that I'm notified when you have posted your tiles. And then this is the hashtag that you can use to look up other people's tiles, what they're doing for Inktober Tangles 2023, and so that other people can find yours. All right, so this is the tile that you're, we're using. It's a Zentangle three and a half inch tile, and my introductory videos will tell you how to set this up if you want to do it the same way. Okay. Sorry about the wobble. Okay, so I'm showing you two of the different ways that Nina did hers in uh, her examples that came out with her step outs. It's a very simple pattern. This little, almost looks like a vase with a flame at the top of it, okay? It can be a border. It can uh, do like this. She had put it on the back of a Zentangle tile around this square. And so I did that to show you how she did it. I really like how that turned out. But um, I'm gonna do something kind of similar to this, similar but different on here, okay? And I'm going to use a Micron 01 and my graphite pencil and a new blending tool. And I put black marks on here because I use these with uh, pastel pencils and I try to keep one for each color. All right. So to do this, first of all, I'm gonna kind of find center. And I'm just very lightly drawing a line. And then trying to find center this way. Okay, so this would be center, about right here. And then the way she starts this, let me zoom in a little bit more, okay, is with a U shape, okay? Come down to that center point and come back up. And then she curves it out a little bit on each side and then bring that in toward the center. And then from there, we put our little top that kind of looks like a flame. All right. I'm gonna do it on the other side now, the opposite side. So again, we're starting with that U shape. And then it curves out. Come back in on both sides and then do your little top. All right, let's do that on this side now. And our curve. 
curve, curve on that side, come in, and then your little flame. I don't know what else to call it. <laughs> okay, let's do this one. Curve. Add our curve. Oh, sorry, I don't know if you heard that noisy car that just went by. All right, so now we have that. And next, we're going to put an aura inside of each of these. And mine don't always look awesome, but I like how this goes inside. Okay, so let's do that on each of these. So it's almost like doing the same thing we had. And my little R's don't look, <laughs> they don't look exactly like the outside, but it is okay. And again, you don't have to do this. You don't have to do this inner aura. Okay, and in her step out, she does show some other things that she does. All right, now with this part, I'm going to do that little curve thing again, like we did here, and bring it in, bring it in. So like we did the top here, and then our little flame. And what I liked when I did this was I darkened this top from that corner. I just thickened it. And then make the top here a little darker. And then the next thing I did was just bring this down to the center same here, bring it down to the center. And then put some little strokes going up to darken that area. And then dark right there in the center. Okay, I thought that looked kind of cool. <laughs> and I had seen something similar to this, so it's not necessarily my design, but I thought it was cool. Okay, come in a little bit. Make your little flame. Okay, we're gonna darken that a little bit. We're just adding some weight or drama Now I'm just going to curve that down to the center. Curve this one down to the center. Add our little strokes. And some coming right up the center. All right. I'm just going to do that on all sides. I hope you're able to see 
all of the step outs and the variations on these. There is a link in the description to the PDF from Stephanie Jennifer for the list of the 31 tangles for October. And each one of those links to either a video or step outs. But if you can't get to those, I'm hoping that my video will show you what to do. All right, last one. I think that fit in our little section really nicely. I hope you're having fun with this. I think Tober. It's a chance to see patterns that I've never seen before. There are so many Zentangle patterns out there and I don't know how to find all of them. My biggest source is tanglepatterns.com and Mustercal. And of course, Zentangle. I like the Mosaic app. They print um, some of the step outs there. But they also have a lot in their blog and newsletters. Okay. I'm going to ink that in at the bottom of these where they don't meet. Okay, now let's add some shading. Now what I've done, and I'm going to show you my sketch on this now, and there's another version. I wasn't real thrilled with how that one came out, but uh, I'm going to do the shading like that. So on these, I'm just going to put graphite. And if I were doing this in color, I would probably put purple in there. But I'm using just black on most of these. I did use a watercolor brush on... Uh, Zuto, Z-U-T-T-O, because I thought it helped to uh, show the ribbon a little bit better. Okay, so I'm just putting graphite in this outer area. Now I'm going to take my blending stump and just soften that carefully all the way around. And then <clears throat> I'm going to put a little bit where it looks like these petals are on top of that one. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, so where it looks like one petal goes over the other, and then a little bit down here at the bottom. So same thing here. 
and then a little at the bottom. I'm not going to put anything else inside of those. If I were doing this with uh, colored pencils or a watercolor brush, I would probably do a different color there. I normally keep my videos in uh, black and white, black ink on a white tile, uh, just to make it easier. I like to show you the basics, and then you can take what you've learned and add variations to it. I have some people that follow my videos who do awesome variations and I just I love it I love to see that you've taken these simple patterns to a new level all right there we go <laughs> that's my version and I'm sticking to it <laughs> I hope you like that uh -oh. Again, I thought this one was really pretty to put around that square. So, here we go. This is Day 20, Kalua by Nina. DG, <laughs> CCT, I can't say your name. And I'm sure in other countries, my name is hard to say also. So, again... Please tag me with at BBL underscore Tangles. And uh, we finished another tile. Hooray! I'll be posting that on Instagram and Facebook. And I hope to see your work there also. Again, thank you for your likes and your subscriptions and your comments and for sharing. It helps my channel so much. And I love keeping things free and just showing you how wonderful Zentangle can be. All right, I'll see you tomorrow for day 21. Thank you. Bye.